hello everyone you're welcome to my channel my name is hannah and i'm a software developer based in ghana today i'm coming your way with this video about how i got into tech my journey into tech and explaining to you my process into how i even landed my job in tech so stay tuned I'm sure you are not new to the idea of people getting into tech within three months of learning how to code. I don't know what the latter three months has got to do with learning how to code, but it seems to be very prevalent in the world of tech. It may be true, it, it, it's actually possible to be able to get your first tech role, first level in three months. And I think it's it's not something which is far fetched, but most of the time it's not realistic. Don't try to compare yourself to everybody because everybody's journey is different. Somebody may go to the university to study computer science, come out of school, do boot camps before landing into their first level. Other people may also just do a three month course and then they have their first level. And it's different for everybody. I just want to say that there's no need to put a lot of pressure on yourself if you're unable to land your first job within three months. There's no limited mark for studying something within three months and then having your first day rule these things may take a longer time it, it may even take a year before you even get your first day rule and it's actually okay even though it's normal for you to get your first day rule after a year i think there are lots of ways and strategies that you can be able to use to be able to shorten the time of your learning and in the time that you are using to start your day role. so these tips may come into into play in later videos that i'm going to be uploading but today i'm just going to tell you that it is not mandatory for you to get into your first day role after three months it may take longer it may take extremely longer than you think and it's actually okay so make sure that you keep learning and also getting yourself abreast with various technologies in the field of study that you have chosen so if you have watched my previous videos you know that i got a computer science degree and in my computer science degree there were lots of things that i learned that i'm actually not using currently that is why i feel like if I didn't get a degree and I knew at the time that I really wanted to get into software development, I probably wouldn't have gotten into the university, but then it's okay because it gives me the exposure to be able to explore other fields in tech that I did not know about. Because mostly when you come out of high school, it's not like you you know exactly what you want to do with your life. Some people need some time to be able to figure out what they want to do with their lives. That is where college comes in. So I feel like going to the university is a helps for people who don't know exactly what they want to do to be able to figure out what they really want to do because you may develop that interest in, it, in technology within your stay in the university and that really helps you but then also we can also say that if you already know the field that you want to get into there may be no need for a computer science degree but we are going to talk about that in depth in more videos so within my years in school when i was learning computer science i was able to secure an internship with one company that dealt in gaming softwares and gaming technologies even though it wasn't related to anything software development it was also in tech so i just got a feel of what the gaming industry had to offer then i continued with school graduated and then came out of school the big deal was when i came out of school because still it looked very vague what i really wanted to do with my life so i went through a period of national service and then i served with a government institution in ghana and then that period was really educated because that is when i decided to be able to figure out what i really wanted to do that is what introduced me into treehouse and learning how to code on my own doing new things on my own because in school you're not given the opportunity to take a certain course for let's say the whole year or the whole four years because we have to learn other things as well so within that year i figured out what i wanted to do and then software engineering or software development sounded like something like i could do without a lot of like high standards of entry so i just decided to take up more courses on treehouse.com which is a very good learning platform for anybody who is looking to start out in tech I'm actually going to recommend it to anyone who wants to start out in tech and then also learn that you don't even have to pay for anything for the first time you just have to sign up for a 14 day free trial and then you see if it helps you or not so you can just do that i'll put a link in the description box and then you can check it out if you want to so that is what i did 
for that one year of national service and then I was applying now the big part of looking for a job is to apply 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 it's really not a good idea to be applying into like into just the, the open space because there are thousands of people who are also throwing in their applications into whatever organization that you are seeking to apply into so that it is where acing your game into knowing how to apply for tech roles comes in and which is what i'm going to be sharing in my next video even though you are applying you just have to be strategic about it know where to put your application who to contact before you apply and then what you can do to be able to get high ranks when it comes to when recruiters are searching for you and so i'm going to recommend this linkedin because as it has been very instrumental in my journey into getting into tech it is actually where i got my role into the current the company that i work for right now and it's something that is so easy to do i actually had a very bad linkedin profile before i got the idea of the the knowledge to ace up my game on linkedin so it's something i'll also be sharing with you in later videos but today i'm just giving you the nitty gritties of what you should be doing and where you should be focusing if you are looking into getting into tech it's really not a difficult journey but i mean like there are strategies to it there are things that are tips and tricks to it and so it, it's about getting your strategies together and also learning to stay on your best game when it comes to being able to apply to other companies now today the video is going to be very short because i'm racing against time and it's getting dark so for me even after getting a computer science degree i was still learning i was still taking up courses i was still paying for courses to be able to learn online because the computer science degree alone couldn't get me what i wanted to do i actually didn't learn react javascript in the university i learned it on my own so being out of university and having a computer science degree is really not an ultimate it's not the ultimate trophy into getting yourself into a tech company but it helps it helps because some companies do require their their employees to have a computer science degree but it is not the only thing that you can do to be able to get into tech most recruiters don't usually ask for a computer science degree when it comes to hiring they just want to know what you can do when what you can bring to the table when they hire you so this has been my journey into tech and i hope that you like this video please give it a thumbs up it helps with the algorithm and subscribe so that more people can be able to find this video and watch it and also get inspired into getting into tech if you're in ghana nigeria west africa anyway i'm inviting you on board onto this platform to be able to share your experiences with people through this platform you can send me a dm you can send me a comment down below i will read it and i will reply and i hope to know your stories about how you got into tech you can also follow me on twitter instagram and linkedin i'll put my links in the description box as well do check it out and follow me on these platforms as well i hope to see you in my next one so have a good day and take care